Now we're going to talk about an alternative way to retrofit over an existing standing seam roof, you know, either low floating or high floating using a two piece system that's going to be a, <clears throat> a 16 gauge Z clip that uh, will sit down in between the ribs of the panel and attach to the purlin with a one and a half inch hat section mounted on top of it. So, so the advantages of this system are that it that it's going to cost a lot less than a notch purlin. And so everybody wants to figure out how to reduce the cost of a retrofit, uh, owners and contractors alike. And this is one way to do it. Now, this system uh, is best uh, installed when you can space these Z's four feet apart. As long as, your, as long as your wind load is under 40 pounds per square foot in the field of the roof, which is the vast majority of the country, then you can use this two-piece system. You know, if you're over 40 pounds per square foot, then you want to go with uh, the roof hugger. If you're under 40, 40 pounds per square foot in the field, then this may be a system for you. So, in order to do this on top of a, uh, a low floating system is a pretty straight proposition. You're going to use a, uh, a, a half support Z and then some standard purlin fasteners to go in to attach this thing. And you're going to attach this thing with either two or three fasteners depending on the wind pressures. If the wind pressures are like 26 pounds and under in the field, then you can attach this with two fasteners. If you're, uh, if they're between uh, uh, 26 and 40, then you need to use three fasteners. And then it gets more complicated when you get into this high floating system. This high floating system, you're going to use a longer fastener, but fortunately it can be a threaded fastener. You don't have that offset which these are a lot less expensive. Uh, and you're going to have to introduce a sleeve. So this sleeve is going to sit between the bottom of this hat support Z and the purlin, which means you're going to have to pre-drill a hole for this thing, which adds to the level of hassle, but it costs about half as much as a, as a notch purlin as a roof hugger for, for this type of panel. So you just got to weigh it out to see if it works for you or not. But I'll go through the quick demo on these things going together. So like I said, this one is pretty straightforward. You take your Z, we're going to go with two holes. We're going we're gonna to use the two, the two uh, to, towards the outside in the middle, okay? I've already pre-drilled these holes because I've, I've already practiced this enough. Now you've got a nice rigid connection back to the purlin with this with this hat support Z 16 gauge Z. These uh, these uh, uh, gussets stamped into that thing really help stiffen it up. Now with this with with this setup over here. You're going to have to, the best way i found to do it is just take a marks a lot and set your Z where you want to set it and then mark your holes with your marks a lot. And then once you get your mark, once you get your holes marked, then you just take a drill uh, about that size, 3 8 inch bit, and then drill through those two holes. And once you get your holes set, then you just take the sleeves and drop them into the holes and set them on top of the purlin. Okay, your sleeves go in, and then your hat support Z goes on top. And there you go. Now your hats are set, your 
Z's are set, and then you come back with a hat section, and there you are. So, uh, nice about it, if you get these four foot on centers, that means that you're covering eight feet at a time with either two, four, six, eight, or 10 fasteners, which is, you know, this is a very economical system. And then once you get into the edge zone, where you're gonna, where you, you're either gonna move these things to two foot on center, or we may be able to switch over to a roof hugger or a notch purlin, if that makes it quicker and faster. And, because the cost will probably be about the same when you're, uh, when you start, at, when you start spacing these things together. As far as insulation, these types of systems are really not uh, friendly for rigid insulation. So you can put anywhere from four, let's just say uh, five to six inches of bad insulation in here without any problem. Uh, we can get this Z up to four and a half inches tall. And so that'll give you a six inch space to the bottom of the roof panel, which is, you know, a lot of people that'll give you R19 uh, bad insulation. So uh, that covers this, this type of system. And then we're gonna show you one more uh, where you infill with ISO.